Hi, my name is Michael Hines and I'm a film and television director. Here are my five tips for making a great film for Film G. Number one, be clear and concise. Painting a picture, it's difficult enough to do it yourself. Imagine though having to tell your cast and crew how you want them to paint it for you. You have to be extremely clear and concise about what you want from each member of your cast and crew. Speak to the actors, speak to the cast, speak to the crew and say this is what I would like to happen. Number two, be confident and charismatic. When you go on the set, people want to be directed. Actors love to be told, this is what I think about the scene, this is how I imagine it is, this is what I've written, this is what the writer wants to happen, let's work this out and do it. Cameramen need to know what you're going to do. Cameramen need to say, well I want it this size of shot, and we're going to run the whole scene on this size of shot, and they're going to do this, this and this. That confidence and that charisma you bring to the set. Never ever apologise for your film, people want to be there to make the film the best it can be, and you're in charge, so be proud about your film, be confident, and both all bring that charisma that makes you the creative genius you are. Number three, be creative and clever. You can't afford to film inside an enormous great big country house, so why not shoot the outside of the house and then cut to inside your living room with a couple of little props to make it look posher. The people at home will think, oh, we're inside the house. It's that creativity when you have no money that will make your film stand out. And being clever, every time you shoot a scene, after saying action, wait, tell the actors to wait a couple of seconds before they start speaking. It will give you a nice little bit of air time to edit coming into the scene. Similarly, when you finish a scene, wait a few seconds at the end of the scene before you say cut. And then that last reaction shot will hold beautifully. Every time you finish the scene, record 30 seconds of wild track sound of the surrounding ambient atmosphere. And that way, when you lay it underneath your soundtrack of the film, your whole film will lead to life. It's those clever little tricks and your creativity with no budget that will really bring your film to life. Number four, be caring and courteous. One of the most important things you have to be on the film set is courteous. Actors are giving their very souls to create a character for you. The least you can do is be courteous when you're talking to them if you like it, if you don't like it or whatever. The crew, they're probably not getting travel expenses. They're probably bringing equipment for free. The very least you can do is make sure they get fed, is not work them for 14 hours a day, and get them a cup of tea occasionally. Tell them when you like something. Be good with them. Be, these are your people that are going to make your film. And you need to be courteous, because believe me, in a few years' time, they'll be your boss and say, oh yes, let's hire that fella. He was a decent guy. And number five, the last two C's. Not about you, but the most important, your cast and your crew. If your best pal wants to be in it, fine. But if they're a rotten actor, don't put them in it. You're only as good as your weakest link. And a chef will only make the finest dishes out of the best ingredients. So try and find the best ingredients you possibly can. And if that's an actor who's really good, then be ca take care of them and put them in your movie. And ask their opinion about things. Ask a guy who knows how to work the camera, what do you think of this shot? Do you think this will work? I'd like to light it like this. What do you think about it? Because their creative and emotional input will make them emotionally invested in the film and even give you a better result. You don't need to know how to work the camera. You need to know how to talk to the guy who works the camera. And at the end of the day, you get a good cast and a good crew, not just a pile of mates piling in, then you will end up with a terrific film.